such a good old boy. Hey y'all, uh, today we're gonna be working on the cattle trailer. Um, we have had it redone, we sandblasted it, had it repainted. I've got to make a, and put a new floor in here today. Um, I've completely put all new lights and everything on the trailer. Um, I've replaced them all with LEDs all the way around. Found these little strip LED lights that are waterproof off of uh, Amazon. And I put these on my boat a while back, but in different colors. And they've worked pretty pretty good. So I figured I'd just buy some to go on the trailer. That's what they were actually for. And uh, just for running lights and stuff. And they're real flat. So it'd be a little bit harder to knock these off and whatnot going through into some of these places we haul cattle out of for people so that's what i'm up to went and got uh oh let's see what do we got here we got 24 two by six by 12s treated and then we got four uh decking boards um for the runners to go down the side that are six foot or six inches wide so um they were cheaper than one by sixes so we went just got the decking board so we've used those before um so that's what i'm up to i'm running these i would i should have called and priced to put composite in the bottom of this thing i guarantee you as high as lumber's gotten that uh, the composite would have been nearly as cheap uh the lumber was these things were cheapest i found anywhere but one place was 17 dollars and 98 cents a board um i found these at a place up all right the camera died um i've been working i've got about half of it done i gotta cut the rest of this to fill it in um so i had a little man's help on me so I got the miter saw uh, out. That's what I'm cutting these with. Harbor Gray. The more I use one, it's good enough. I ain't trying to make these perfect. It's a trailer for it. video I think I made was I think I made and then to be edited since then um, was the grading project video uh, get that line off that line was 250 bucks I think is what it, something like that or it wound up in cost uh, I got the machine back together and then it's rained for the last several days since then so it's Wait to be finished. Um, I don't go yet. Which I'm several videos behind y'all. By the time y'all see that, I'll be probably done with it.
that thing alone. There's a lesson you had to learn the hard way, didn't you? That's where that, that's at. Um, still haven't done no spraying nothing, obviously. It's good. Uh, I got fertilizer coming soon. He's going to spray me a truckload. And offload it. Uh, soon they're supposed to bring me the wagon too. Daddy, These, them you'll find, you play with them. Would you be messing with these boards no more? You hear me? You get bigger, you can do stuff like this. For all those who say, he just wants to be like me. That's why he ain't allowed to just. Hoping this is gonna fit. I ain't gotta rip this thing. Optimistic. Ah, yes. I don't have to rip it. I got. I'm either gonna have to space those out wider, and I really want to, or I'm gonna have to rip a piece to go there and here. I think if I put a little bit of quarter inch gap in between each one, which is pretty, is good because it helps the veneer and stuff drop out um that's what we found always work best um i might be able to get by with that i don't know we're just gonna have to see so let me get on with this and then we'll be back all right i gotta rip one down the last board it's gonna take it's gotta be four inches Bitty one, ain't it? Yeah. 
in there. There we go. I gotta space these out. Hopefully, I can fill that gap. No, I'll have to rip some of these out of maybe that piece and then some of these other boards. But we gotta get the runners ready to go now. Huh? this morning uh got this floor gap kind of like it wants got a little spaces between the wood um if they lay in there perfect and they just ain't no way to gap it thing that you can do but i like a little gap in it so that way the pee and the poop and stuff will drain out the bottom don't collect as bad in the trailer uh, the way i gap them is i just walk down through here with a crowbar like that there and stick it down in there and just twist it a little bit that spaces them. Now we've got to start screwing the side boards down and locking everything in place. <coughs> well, I've got everything spaced out to where I get it. So now we're going to start screwing everything down by myself today. Dad's sick. He don't know what's wrong with him. Throwing up last night. Said that while he was in Gatlinburg a while back with my mama. That last fall, he had the same exact thing happen to him. Felt the same way. I don't know what it is. Ain't nothing bad. You know what help I've got. Really, other than my grandpa, I don't like that much. I've got a few people that work for us on the weekends. I don't know what I'll do. Sometimes you know, it's already down and can't do nothing. Oh, me. been a hell of a spring. Hell of a spring, I'll tell you. I'm glad to have this trailer back working. If you're wondering what this flicking stuff is, they didn't sandblast that. They should have. I wish they would have, but they didn't. That is where we sprayed. Uh, I actually didn't spray it, but painted uh, some of that cheap Rhino liner. But uh, you can buy it like Ace Hardware and stuff. It's not Rhino liner, but it's light Rhino liner. Uh, pickup bed liner that you can put on yourself. We brought line the inside of the bottoms of these trailers with it. Um, the blue one, uh, we even did the uh, 
rails down the side with it. Boy, it was a great idea, but if you're going to do that, you need to take it to a facility that does line X or rhino line and let them do it. That cheap jump, it's exactly that. It ain't worth a crap and it will do more harm than it will good because water gets in behind that crap, um, that cheap stuff, and it will cost, uh, cost the, uh, Steel rust out. We call it steel rust out. And then it caused you more problems and troubles. And it it's a disaster if you know the truth. It eats the trailers up more than it does if you don't do nothing. But this trailer's not new, it's you know, you think back to 2000, and to me, 2000 don't seem like it's been that long ago, and the reality is it's been 21 years ago. That's how I know I'm getting older. <laughs> uh, and uh, this trailer is a 2000 or a 2001, is what model this trailer is. Uh, so, that being said, it's it's 20 years any old anyway. I wish we could have kept it inside until the last. Ain't got enough barns to do all that. I'm trying to flip in this door here. Got her done. Got all the wire down and everything nailed in. So there we go. That project's done. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that.